Greetings, fellow Gators. I would like to welcome you to another project of mine. And this time, as you can see, uh, this will be a 3D printed Ori mothership. Now, you are already kind of familiar with it uh, from my modeling videos, but um, still. In this video, I would like to uh, basically showcase the model, uh, the features that I added, though there aren't that many, and uh, basically show uh, how everything will fit together, and some choices I have uh, basically made while while modeling it. So um, this is the ship. Overall length of the ship is uh, some 45 centimeters, so it's not uh, huge um, because yeah, free space is once again becoming an issue. But yeah, now as you can see, the Orai mothership is rather um, strangely shaped, to say the least. I always said that it reminds me a toilet. But uh, the thing is that, as you can see now, uh, it would have a hard time to actually stand. And from my previous project, you know that I don't particularly like uh, to make any stands or stuff like that. I want the ship to stand on its own. That is why, uh, for example, for the O'Neill and Aurora, I made a retractable, re retra retractable third leg. Now, for this ship, I made the following. As you can see here, I added those three knobs that would basically uh, fit as a stand. And also, I basically added this. So basically, once again, retractable legs. And this should be enough to actually stand on its own. So, yeah, this is basically how it will uh, stand on its own. Now, the mechanic mechanism is rather simple. As you can see here, here uh, we have a clamp and it is basically snapped in place. I have to say, I so far did not uh, make a mechanism like this. So. I'm actually not sure how it will work, so I intend to actually uh, print the leg and print some uh, test bed with the same clamps to see how it actually works. Yeah, so those are basically the retractable legs. Now, uh, another thing that I added that was not uh, in the uh, ship itself in the show is that basically here on front I added a small ORI symbol. Uh, I think it's appropriate though it was not present on those ships but I don't care. I I think I like uh, I well I don't think that I like it I like I like it for sure and I don't think it's uh, that bad. Now when it comes to all those ornaments um, I took uh, artistic freedom because uh, yeah. uh, it certainly doesn't look like in the show, but uh, nonetheless, I uh, basically did it like this. And the same uh, goes when uh, it comes to this, uh, this part which has uh, in the model, uh, in the show, uh, some high techy techy stuff. So I basically did it like this. Um, yeah, and basically, uh, basically that's it. Now I would like to uh, show you how the model. Yeah, yeah. But before I will go there, uh, one thing I would like to mention about here. Um, if you uh, remember, the Ori ships have also uh, four antennas around each of these uh, round thingies. I decided to skip them uh, because I don't have a good uh, experience when it comes to the printing of very thin well antennas um, both on, on my 303 and 304 ships this was always a problem so I decided to skip them I actually uh, for a while played with an idea that I would make their holes 
and I would use toothpicks uh, that would be painted but I decided to skip it anyway I really like uh, not to combine materials and I want to have a hundred person 3d printed parts or sorry 3d printed models so in the end I decided to skip it okay so I guess that now I will basically present how the model basically goes together so as you can see here it is once again divided into several parts or subgroups rather so I will now basically get rid of all and basically we will look at them one piece after another so yeah here we have one piece then corresponding part with the locking system that I always use and another from back and corresponding one so this basically makes the top but then we have the connection and those are pins 5 uh, millimeters uh, in diameter and they goes here inside basically the entire model is made or connected with two types of pins the main one are the uh, already known uh, 10 by 10 millimeters that we used uh, in Aurora and quite a lot of models before but because of the geometry I was also forced to use smaller di diameter and those are uh, 5 by 8 millimeters so yeah that's it and then basically those windows uh, they serve not only as windows but also as basically a connecting point for those two parts because they have as you can see here holes for those pins five millimeter stick or uh, in diameter so basically if you insert them inside they will lock those two pieces in place and they cannot go uh, separate they cannot be separate even if they want it though it shouldn't be a case anyway because there is the locking mechanism but i was thinking that uh, i want to make this piece separate because of the painting because of all those yellow windows so why not to make that functional as well and then of course we will have the main connecting pieces which are those already mentioned 10 by 10 packs okay so this is the entire top part then we will have the bottom part and once again i will go one by one so yeah this is basically the corresponding piece as you can see it already has those uh, locks and it has corresponding holes for the pegs so we have this one then the corresponding piece that goes here and with corresponding holes for the pegs as well and then the bottom windows those are not functional as there is not separation no separation here so they will be simply inserted uh, into the cavity and then we have this piece once again as you can see it has all the holes for the pegs and all the locks and the corresponding piece and basically that should all snap together and that should all make quite sturdy assembly then we also have the landing legs and then two connection pins five millimeter thick sorry five millimeter in diameter okay then we have a separate piece that is not part of any subgroup and that is basically the front as you can see uh, we have basically a cavity here with two pegs and basically the front will be printed as one se separate piece uh, that will be inserted inside and uh, thanks to those two pegs will hold in place 
I uh, did it like that because uh, that way I can assure that all those details here will be indeed made. And of course the painting process should be much simpler for me. So oh, basically yeah, it is done like that. Uh, then we have the back. And the back is basically consisting of just those two pieces and basically two connect connecting parts that when it goes together we can you can you can see that there is a peg here and there is a peg here and it has corresponding holes so when it's inserted then we also add this connecting piece that should hold everything together so this is the back and then the engine is the last subgroup and uh, basically the engine works like this uh, we have this piece which is one big piece that will be printed most likely with supports and yeah, it has holes here for the pegs that are in those two pieces, so it will be uh, slided uh, on place. And then we will add connections. So basically, basically here you can see that there are two holes. So one pin, second pin, and then we insert this piece. You can see now that there are holes for the pins connection pins so we have one big one and one small one and onto them comes those pointy things which are one separate model but it's in one piece so the uh, they have or that that part has as you can see the corresponding holes and then as you can see here the last piece are those details and they will be basically inserted here to this cavity and they have a hole for this pack so that everything should hold in place quite firmly okay so this is basically the model this is the way i will take uh, maybe one more thing that i would like to mention that i added basically this thing uh, it's not because uh, I was afraid about structural integrity or something like that but in the show itself in the first episode of the 10th season we actually see when the or I invaded Chulak that roughly from this area all the fighters uh, emerged emerged so I simply assumed that this is basically the area where the main hangar is so I this is supposed to be hangar okay yeah so i suppose this is kind of it um th this is my model of the ori mothership i was asked by a friend um, if i don't intend to make the, uh, the sphere that was inside that could theoretically serve as a stand that would be attached to the ring and if it's in uh, made from um, basically a transparent material um, there could be a light uh, inside so that it could even simulate that that light and glow that uh, was indeed inside the, the ring of the Ori ship. I actually don't uh, at all plan to make something like that, mainly because I don't have any transparent material. I have so far zero experience with it, but uh, yeah if you want to make something like that sure when i publish the files feel free to do whatever you wish with them but i personally don't intend to do that at all all right so i guess that's that's all so in the next video we will actually uh print something i'm not sure if we go simply from those uh, subgroups probably so uh, i did not uh, yet made uh, g, uh, g code so i don't know how long will uh, every part take so 
don't know how long that will actually take but uh, I don't think that the next video will be uh, next week because I cannot start with the model yet because I'm finishing my second print of the Prometheus so I have to wait until that is finished but that should theoretically be finished sometime during this, during this week or uh, start of the next week and then I will go straight to, to the Ori ship so I will try to make some video during next week but I cannot promise that okay I uh, hope that you enjoyed it um, have a very nice day and I will uh, look forward to see you on the next video bye bye